What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden, and today we're doing 350Z work. Also, I had to give her a bath, by the way. Look how shiny the wheels are. I always forget how shiny these wheels are when you when you, when you bathe them. Um, but yeah, we're doing 350Z work today. As you can probably tell by the title, it's a duck bill, which is all the way over there. We'll go into that later. But I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown on actually how to do this because I did a lot of these parts in like different videos because it never was like a one part thing. And I realized I was pretty silly so I should probably do this in one part and give you guys the full straight shot of how to put in a duck bill in case you're like trying to do a duck bill on a 350Z and you can't figure it out. Step one is open up your trunk. My trunk is actually broken so this button here doesn't work. And so if that's you and your button doesn't work here, all you have to do in case you don't know is go into your cabin the little strut brace right underneath the strut brace there's going to be this little tab here you just gotta pull it it's really it can be a pain in the ass to pull sometimes and nor if you never used it before it's gonna be tucked up in here by the way so you won't see it like kind of like that uh and then just pull it and that'll pop your trunk in case you didn't know uh but anyway once you get the trunk open the first step is to take off all your plastic here because this part can all be skipped if you have a base model this part is just to get this uh stock spoiler off Okay, so the stock little lip that the 350Z comes with, you have to take this off in order to get it off. If you don't have that and you're just base model or you already took it off for some reason, you don't have to do this part. So you don't have to take off this plastic, you're fine. Just go from here. But if you're like me and you don't have a base model and you have the lip spoiler, to get the lip spoiler off, you pop off all this plastic only up to here. You don't have to pop off the back plastic only up to here. And then right in this hole right here and this hole right here, as you can see, if you look up in there, there's a little hole because on the stock spoiler there's these little studs that come through it and it goes right there into there and into there with a nut on the end of it so you want to get a 10 millimeter stick it up there take the nuts off first otherwise you're not going to get that stock spoiler off so after that the stock spoiler also has uh tape on it like little 3m tape you just have to get that part off yourself what i did was i took this little like plastic little like chisel kind of and we stuck it under there with a hammer and then somebody held onto it while the other person hammered it across the like underneath of the spoiler and that ripped off all the extra like nasty 3m tape and then it just ended up popping off so once your spoiler is actually off then you can actually finally mount your duck bill i'm going to show you how to do that really quickly i'll close this trunk so to mount it you're most likely going to want a second person here but you probably could do it alone. I don't know. Personally, I it was so much easier with another person. Uh, one person is just going to hold it down and push it down as hard as they can. And the other person is going to look at it and line it up to where it needs to be exactly. Uh, take a little measuring tape and measure from each corner to see how far away you are from each corner. This is as perfect as we got it. And then obviously when you're done, you just mark it with a marker here. We got a marker there, a marker there across the line, marker there, marker there. And a marker there uh that's where it's going to sit so now we know exactly every time that we want to line this up we know exactly where to line it up to and we know exactly what to do uh this is almost exactly perfect i think this side is a like one millimeter longer than this side <laughs> so it's almost perfect there and here it actually is perfect so uh you're also going to need to take off your nissan badge that's kind of the same deal with the uh trunk spoiler except it doesn't have any bolts in it so you don't have to do the uh, unscrewing thing you just take off the uh the old uh 3M tape and same with your 350Z badge, which mine we did that and it kind of messed up the paint a little bit I'm not the happiest puppy when it comes to that. That kind of sucks, but that's okay uh, Yeah, so that's all the prep work that you have to do to get it ready next You're gonna want to go find your duck bill and if you're lucky They will it's the duck bill with the already like indents in it to show you where to rivet or you might get one that isn't Polyurethane and you can uh 3M tape it on we tried 3M taping it on this is polyurethane and 3m tape does not want to stick to this it's just too rough it's got all these like bumps in it and everything so 3m tape won't stick in it so we're gonna have to use rivets uh you could use just normal pop rivets which is what we're gonna use as you can see here or you could use uh like those ones that you put in you have like the nut on the bottom and then they sit into the nut that one just seems like way too much work it is a lot cleaner it doesn't have the rivet showing as much but to me it's just not worth it uh if you can do the 3m tape it's probably the best one it's the cheapest it's the easiest and it's the cleanest looking but we can't do that unfortunately because the polyurethane so you take your your old freaking duck bill you get your pop you get your pop rivets which by the way you need to make sure that these pop rivets are long because this has to not only go through this duck bill here but it also has to go through the trunk of your car and in case you don't know on a pop rivet 
this little long piece at the end, this little long thin piece is not what's going to go into the car. It's this top piece here. So you need to make sure this top piece is pretty long. Uh, unfortunately, that's one of my problems that I ran into is that we, I got two short of ones, so I had to order more. And then, um, then just, where's the other one I put? Yeah, then just make sure you get the right drill bit. There's drill, line up the power pivot, make sure it's the same size and everything, and drill your holes. I'm doing five on the bottom and five on the top. I think that's the best, it's gonna be safe. It's also gonna probably look pretty clean. We might do one on the side. It depends on how weird the sides are gonna look. But after that, just if you get the right drill bit and you got the right power pivots, drill into where you want it you don't have to do this perfectly dude it doesn't have to be like super measured out and perfect uh because it's just pop rivets no one's gonna notice but make sure that they're all on this little flat piece you don't want to put it on like here put it on the flat piece here do your holes right there see there's one of my holes not up here same with on this side there's a little flat piece on the other side don't put it in here put it on this flat piece see there's another one of my holes right there so that's to do that part in the next once again, like I said, I think it's easier with two people. I have my uncle here, he's gonna help me. And uh, after that, you're pretty much all set. What you wanna do is you wanna bring this over, line it up, have somebody press on it and line it up. Somebody else takes a drill and drills into the holes where it's going to go into on the trunk. And then you get your pop rivet gun and just rivet, take the, put it on the pop rivet, put it on the rivet gun and pop rivet it in. All right, so after you got it all, uh, all the drill, all the holes drilled into the duck bill, and you got it all prepped and everything, you, then you bring it over as I, as you just saw with the time lapse that we were doing, and you just mark it. You don't want to drill through right now with the duck bill because it's just pointless and it's just going to cut the holes in the duck bill even wider. You don't want to drill the holes wider and wider to the point where your rivets aren't going to sit right in that duck bill. So just put the drill in there and mark it a little bit. So like you can see right here is where we marked it. We marked it right there, right there, and on the bottom, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. And then, after you do that, you can take your drill again. I'll actually show you right now. It actually pops right through pretty easily. On the corners of your trunk, there's a little bit of the subframe there. So as you can see, I drilled a hole in there, but there's still metal underneath it. So you got to go through the subframe too, which can be a little bit of a pain. But everywhere else, there's no subframe, so it goes right through, like right there. I already drilled through this, as you can see, watch. Just put it right through. So, that's that. Then you go to the next one, which for me is right here. Make sure it's very lined up. I actually just use my whole body weight, to be honest. I just press on it with my chest. And now it's in. See? And that's what you gotta do. Just do that to all your marks that you just made with the duck bill, and you'll be set to put the rivets in. Okay, so we ran into one more problem, and that is that the bolts that you're taking out for the lift spoiler are going to have a big old hole just leaking into your cabin at all times. So to solve that issue, we're just using some normal Nissan clips that we're going to tape over it and then use. What is that, what is that called? Just some caulk. Caulk. That's what we're using. And we're going to just seal it up so that no water can get in there. Even though, And you don't have to worry about it looking pretty. No one's going to see it because the freaking duct is going to be over it, so you don't got to worry about all that. Okay, boys. So all the holes are drilled. Now I'm going to put it over there on my... PT Cruiser bumper and you can watch a time lapse of us putting in the rivets with a rivet gun. That's all it takes. I don't even know if that's actually called a rivet gun, but whatever that is, <laughs> we're gonna put it in. Uh, this is what we did with the chalk with the caulk. Keep calling it chalk. With the caulk in that uh, pin, just to close those up. See that? And like I said before, that's gonna be covered up by the duck bill, so you don't have to worry about that being like gross and anybody seeing it, you'll be alright.
all right so she is on there it looks amazing boys i freaking love duck bills it's so basic but so cool like it just looks perfect on these 350s it works just too well obviously you know i have a lot of mismatched color parts here you got the black black and black bumper <laughs> like the polyurethane parts but still looks good especially since the car is black anyway we still need to get headlights look how terrible my headlights look guys god it's just hideous it's awful it does not look good the headlights do not look good but yeah so what we did so since we already had the holes drilled lined up in the uh, duckbill and the body you just have somebody else push it in there and then they pop rivet it in uh using a pop rivet tool is pretty easy uh usually they just put the long piece the little long skinny piece in the tool make sure you have the right size on there though then you just push it and push it it you got to use a lot of weight you got to be a strong boy to do that so, but after you do that it'll be uh you'll hear like a pop and then you just break off the little long piece and it pops off and that's all you have to do and it's super easy if you don't hear the pop like the pop didn't happen here and it didn't happen here this one looks like it's in there but it's not it's just stuck in uh as you can see watch right you can move it um but i just got to get longer pieces for both those corners uh and it'll fit perfectly fine but next last step since you already did that now always just come back in and put your plastic piece back inside the car that's exactly what we're going to do like i said before i unfortunately have to have to pop mine open this way which isn't fun come on there we go and then you just put the plastic in. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, 350Zs are so hard to get in and out of. Well, yeah. And that's it, boys. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other parts you want to see for the 350Z. I'm thinking a diffuser would be nice. I like diffusers. I also thinking of a different ex uh, like muffler to a single exit. I like single exits. Uh, I also might do side skirts. I don't know what I'm going to do for side skirts yet, though. I like the hood how it is. I need headlights and I also want to get, I know it's basic, but I want to get the freaking eyelids. I think the eyelids look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, then it's finally on to like other stuff, interior pieces, performance pieces, suspension, all that stuff. But right now I love how this thing sits, man. Look at the freaking duck bill. Look at this. this looks so good. This looks so good. Oh, hey, look at all my microfiber claws. What's going on up there? But also a good another good thing is that it doesn't actually drill through the uh, body of the bottom of the trunk. So the bottom of the trunk is still fine, which is handy mandy dandy, boy. I forgot to say it. I don't know why. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Duck Villa, Soul on 350Z. Hopefully it made your life a little bit easier. Thoughts with Danya. Have a nice night.